armies of Mordor are now in the heart of Gondor. Sauron's eye is fixed on the White City. If it falls, so falls all of Middle-earth. But it won't fall because we do have something to say about that. Minas Tirith, the home of Gondor's throne, is the last hope of men to stand against the darkness of Sauron. Okay, I, I don't remember this mission, actually. But I thought, I think that if it's a defense mission, this threat will be like... Basically, go mass archers and bomb on everything to that. And if I have heroes, I will post them in front of the gate and they will deal with the threat. This is the strategy that I use at Hand's Deep and it was pretty effective, to be honest. The armies of Mordor are approaching! We must prepare the city! Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know that we must prepare the city, but give me control of my guys. Like, uh, let's see, what can we do here? Oh, I will first build really heavy in my uh, economy, even though I do have a lot of economy, but I want to have even more economy. Um, I will build my archery range here and yeah, other than that a lot of economy buildings um, because I think I will have to pump like a lot of units so that's a lot of economy buildings that I can build like, and here it will actually be worth to build a marketplace uh, because yeah I will go heavy. And also, let's not forget of uh, like where is my archery range. I, I should have started with it, uh, but basically I have like full army, like my all the Faramir army is full. <laughs> it was actually combination. I will also build like. Uh, uh, I think I will go for battle towers here, um, or actually trebuchet. I will go for trebuchet towers. Uh, I think they are slower hitting, but actually they are like pretty powerful on their own. What I think it will be problematic is the fact that, uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't really have a lot of defenders up more and here is like the citadel that I don't have to fall and yeah this is basically a very simplified version of uh, uh, Minas Tirith because uh, in reality like uh, Minas Tirith it's like built on 7 levels not on 3 but yeah we will forget those inconsistencies and yeah, move on. I will go for heavy trebuchets and if it doesn't work then it doesn't work like yeah, what can I do and here I think I will I would have uh, yeah. basically I kept the Rohan the Mordor Air, uh, the Rohan, uh, no, Rohan the army that I had uh, yeah, I kept it and this is where it will be a pain to deal with uh, because yeah I could have had a lot more archers than, than I do like yeah El uh, Elmer will go but look at him like he doesn't have a lot of uh, actually they're a pretty big army also but yeah it's, I should have gone way more heavy on uh, on uh, archers also these archers i cannot really upgrade them but i will put them on the battlements uh, yeah i have some archer spots uh, and this one i don't think it will get to rank 2 in time for it to really matter uh, like and, but i will i will buy the uh, Grand Harvest and the Iron Ore and 
actually even the siege material because maybe I will have to destroy some of my economy buildings to build something else. These are like uh, ruins, I cannot put anything in ruins. Uh, yeah, these are like camps that I cannot take, like the enemy will take those camps. So yeah, basically I will keep like that up here. Pippin won't do much, to be honest. He's very squishy, like he has 260 health, like it's way way too squishy. Uh, Faramir, I will put him in front, Boromir also. So basically they will stay and protect the gate and my archers will deal with the threats. Hopefully. Uh, and hopefully the going uh, heavy with the ballista it will pay off. Basically the first like level it's it's so big and it's hard to really cover it all. But yeah, it's very hard to cover it all. I don't know yet how the tax wave will come. I don't know anything. Uh, I do know that it, they will be waves but I think that this part it's like pretty well defended so maybe I will move some archers from here I will move them towards like here because here I feel, I feel like my uh, army is not very well protected but it might be just like uh, like my opinion uh, that's nice. I'm, I'm looking for leadership bonus. 100% uh, more damage. Actually, maybe it's better for you to be on like battlements. 100% uh, more damage. It's really, really powerful. So yeah. Hopefully it will go well. I don't know. I'm really hopeful. And I also cannot get the fire arrow upgrades yet because I cannot produce units. So yeah. Sucks to be me. And yeah, now I his leadership bonus area as you can see is pretty big. But uh, maybe I should uh, bring my uh, guys actually a bit closer. They are like uh, uh, I have to purchase them at the trebuchet store. I don't know if uh, I will uh, delete it, uh, if I have to be like trebuchets in order to uh, access that uh, water workshop. Uh, yeah, if I uh, to access like the uh, stone upgrade, the trebuchet stone upgrade. Also, I'm very, very close to get the army of the dead and if I can, I want to push for it. Uh, after this mission, I will sure be able to do it. Uh, I have to level any halo to level 8, which as you can see <laughs> it will be a bit of a uh, problem because uh, my heroes are le level 6 and now I have like a very very high amount of um, like uh, upgrades and I will spread my um, actually I don't care, I can keep it there. And yeah, here I have two archers. The least I can do, I can like drop order forces and come. I, I won't make a save uh, in case like the trebuchet uh, idea doesn't work out like I wanted to do. And yeah, I have to be level two in order to do it. And in order to be level two, I have to build the trebuchet. I I don't know how many of them. That will be interesting to see, but yeah. Uh, basically, they come with a lot of trash, with a lot of uh, archers and so on. So, yeah. I. Actually, I will just close the gate. I. Yeah. I can keep them outside, but basically, what will happen most likely they will get pummeled by the enemy. And yeah, I don't want that to happen. 
And yeah, they are attacking the farms basically. Which is not Let's go to the rest of where we can use it. Ideal, but yeah. heavy armor is ready. Also don't care too much about it. I will put this uh, on the Yeah, I, I will put them uh, on the Yeah, on the walls. <laughs> yeah, they have really big problems playing it. Uh, I wonder what uh, do they build in their camps, there will be things for a lot of trolls, from some siege works and Cut them down. what do I have to do? Destroy all evil forces. Maybe actually I could have pushed towards these uh, camps and just destroyed them. I think, I, I'm wondering if this is like a viable strategy, like when they come just push towards like the the camps and just destroy them like really really quickly like yeah i wonder if this is a, a valid strategy because uh, after you destroy them basically they cannot i think that they cannot uh, rebuild them so they will keep uh, sending uh, like trash at me i will really have to see regarding that maybe maybe this is a valid strategy but now i will try to play the mission like normally and i will keep pummeling the enemies and yeah, keep destroying their buildings basically they have some battalions of archer here they have some battalions of archer there but they are yeah level one like come on. and now it's like the big attack wave that I should be able to like deal with it no problem. Like, yeah. I should deal with them no problem. Like Tra oh, they did get upgraded to rank six. That's <laughs> cheating AI. You know that's cheating. You cannot upgrade so quickly to level six. You. Do know very well that, right? That basically you cannot upgrade that quickly to level six. And yeah, I will bring those uh, archers a bit forward, and those battalions of archers I will upgrade them to level two and so on. This one also to level two and yeah. base. Yeah, but this is cheating. Like, look. They had like uh, level I six now. Hmm. That's really cheating, guys. This is not nice. But I think that yeah, I could by going uh, maybe heavy on cavalry, actually, or even heavy on archery. I could really uh, push them and at least destroy one or two camps. Uh, before like those uh, big waves uh, arrive and so on so yeah but these these guys are dying pretty quickly like it's like the power discrepancy is so big between them and others and i will take my uh, forum here and uh, move in here in order to get as many of uh, them as i can Basically, they felt them, felt my guys with archers. They they actually attack only with archers, which is yeah, not be expected to be honest. But yeah, the ballistas are pretty much doing their work. Um, yeah, they are doing their work pretty well. I wonder if I just um, like destroy it and then uh, build like a fountain what is the radius of that fountain like oh they start going after you with, with like big body stuff can't you hit them like i mean can't you really hit them yeah you can of course Basically, I do have to like uh, uh, really like 
very like uh, purposefully target like their siege wars because uh, they are doing a lot of problems. I don't think I lost the body style. But yeah. I, uh, but I think that this like trebuchet cannot be repaired. I'm not sure, but this is what I uh, I'm thinking that my trebuchet cannot really be repaired. And yeah, basically I can do my destroy them. Yeah, that's the land spray. Yeah, I really have to kill those bombarding things. They keep farming me. I think this one is more uh, important. Like they can access my uh, like uh, they can access my uh, yeah towers from there. And then they keep bombarding me. And, yeah. And the well, uh, I think it's barely shy on the radius. But yeah, this one, they keep bombarding. The nice thing is that they keep bombarding like the city, <laughs> which is nice because if they bombard like my, uh, uh, my guys and so on, that would have been really bad. Bombarding my guys. Um, and yeah. Basically, I will. They are stupid in that way. But yeah. What do I have to do? Any hero to level 8? Well, I will open the gate, actually. And go with my heroes. Oh, oh no, no, no. No, don't open the gate. Uh, close, 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 close. Close, close, close. Gate. Please, please, please. Close the gate. Okay. Yeah, all archers focus fire on me. And, uh, the fact that they keep bombarding the city instead of bombarding me, that's really helping me a lot you don't know how much is helping me the fact that yeah basically they keep bombarding the city i can basically focus on taking down uh, them taking them down and just you know, don't let them uh, really get close to the cities uh, to my city walls like, They will siege tower. It's yeah, keep keep attacking me like with those beautiful ballistas. Let me see, can I actually kill them? Like, uh, can I target them? Yeah, I can target them. Like this one, then this one. Oh, he starts killing my towers. Ah, but he's dead. But I can rebuild. Uh, yeah, I can rebuild actually, which is nice. My economy is so big that I can, I don't really care. I can just rebuild. Oh, and this one, they can just deal it with this. And what do I have? Oh, I have another Nazgul here. Yeah. They come with a lot of, like, uh, and so on. But, and this is like a buffer for... Uh, but I think I can, like, kill him. And that troll can really do much. Basically, did, did I lose my Trebuchet? This is my Nova Trebuchet. 
um, but I think I lost a lot of stars, so what I can do is like build two more trebuchet, oh, and uh, yeah, rebuild like my archery range, where it is, yeah, here is my, like my archery range, and yeah, basically just make sure that nothing can really get to my, uh, to my, uh, and I will put them here. This is nice. A lot of the attacks come to my main gate, so I think if I oh my guys die. Yeah, I will ask you to just kindly kill it. Like uh, make sure that they don't get really there. Uh, and yeah. I will move my trebuchets here um, and I will uh, build some more archers in order to make them get like flaming uh, art, uh, upgrades because they keep pummeling my city from some unknown reason oh I lost my trebuchet here but I have the economy so that, that, that I don't care and it's interesting that they don't even attack this part yet. Maybe they will, but they they certainly can start doing that. But for some strange reason, they don't. Maybe it's not like the right to do it. And yeah, I will put it here. And yeah, let's just hit the trebuchet. Yeah, they are not too many. What are you talking about? Like, we need more archers on the wall. Yeah, I know we need more archers on the wall, but I'm working on it very heavily. If you ever noticed, and, yeah. I think in this regard, the fact that archers can get like armor, it's really good. Um, I want to also research like uh, heavy armor, also I can upgrade them to fire like flaming stones which are really good. And also I will upgrade them with flaming stones. Um, I think that's really important for them to get the stones. They gain so much more damage. Um, yeah. Let's see. Oh. They will manage to break through my gate. Like, I don't have enough DPS to actually kill them. Yeah. But I have the hero still with it. Like where it's like that. Uh, I will. And basically, after they break the gates, they don't do anything else. But it's enough that they did break the gate, so they will start pulling in. And, yeah. Where it's like that. Like, they will start going for it. Yeah, basically I don't know if you can prevent like really the gate from being breached. Um, yeah, I really don't know if you can do that. Um, I will go move them here and just <laughs> basically the trebuchets can really do a lot but yeah, Gandalf just kill them I don't know where Gandalf is like where is he come on what are you doing all the way up there like really what are you doing all the way up there I don't understand what the adult is doing there. 
Sometimes the AI is so strange. But I will put Gandalf in front, he can deal with a lot of things. Also with that flaming upgrades on the trebuchet, they they can deal with pretty much everything. Like they receive so much more damage. Actually, a very big upgrade. And I think that it was a mistake of putting so many trebuchets on the wall. Oh. No, not that I had anything else to do uh, and spend my money on, because as you can see, like my, uh, it's actually crazy how powerful I am. But let's go and see Gandalf. Yeah, basically he dies. Basically, it died. Like, and now, Gandalf's time to shine is really here. Like, he can kill so many enemies. Like, so, so many enemies. Uh, well, enemies can also dish like a lot of. Come on. I will retreat Gandalf inside. Basically, I will kill him. But also, it's sometimes it's nice that they manage to like uh, reef the gate because uh, basically what happens is uh, that now that the break, the gate is breached, <laughs> basically what happens is uh, they all trying to rush the gates, which is yeah pretty interesting to do but not very far I will do that uh, like Gandalf will basically just almost kill me or, or not if, if not like the okay so Faramir got to level 5 Gandalf had to be like like never a lot. Oh, and uh, like destroy all the evil forces. Uh, is I will call like uh, Rohan army, which is uh, pretty big. Like if you look, <laughs> uh, and I also already have like a hero of level nine. But I have to level up a hero to level up. Ah, come on. What is Gandalf doing? Like, he's running out there. Just go near the fountain. And basically with this army what I'm going to do, it's like, uh, kill the last goal. And because I have mainly archers, oh, they have another last goal. Okay. Yeah, basically the last one is pretty nasty. But uh, follow my lead. Yeah. Okay, I will. Oh, basically I will deal with those pesky enemies. I will push slowly towards their camp in order to take out their production buildings. Like, what is Gandalf doing? Uh, yeah, Gandalf, you just use your magnificent power and just kill them. Yeah, it's really easy to kill them. Here we go on rampage. Actually, no, they just died. And, and basically, those no hard forces and just go. 
I, I, I wonder if I can really make my life easier but by destroying those camps. Like, just at the beginning. Like, this is what my thought is. Can I really make my life easier by destroying all the camps at the beginning? I will hit my guys. But yeah, basically flaming archers are OP. Also I should really, in order to prepare for this mission, I should really like uh, build more like uh, archers in my Gondor mission. Like don't waste this, like resources by... Uh, don't waste r resources like by the... Uh, 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 what are you doing, Yomer? You want to be killed? Like, what are you doing? Also, yeah, basically... Uh, what I hate about... Like, the cavalry is really nice, but one thing that I hate for uh, it for is the launchers, lancer guys, they just basically rush forward and get themselves killed with a stupid, uh, stupid test. Like, like uh, yeah, basically, uh, I had in the battle from Hemp's Deep lost a squad of, uh, like, those guys by uh, the fact that they actually ran in the middle of, uh, I, I mean, they suicided uh, themselves on a bomb. They just went and just exploded the bomb with them near it. So yeah, this is what it is. I think that I want to do like the bonus mission. Maybe if I can, if I would have kept like Elmer and uh, level eight in preparation, I could have done that. So yeah, but right now I didn't do it, so I don't Yeah, I, I will just go and uh, basically just rush without hopefully losing like uh, units. I will just push and clear those camps. And for some reason, even though we are on hard difficulty, the enemies don't really uh, like. Uh, yeah, they basically don't really. Uh, don't really okay, I will use a bit of my power because yeah, basically. They, the enemy, I think, keeps sending like uh, attack waves after attack waves after attack waves. Uh, I will think actually, Saruman, uh, like, I will bring them here. Actually, like, uh, Gandalf. So, because I really want to push. Let's, let's push. Let's push in the middle of the base and then just destroy everything inside like really destroy everything inside and then after we manage to do that basically I think the is more. I hope it's more like we hope it's more and yeah we can then make rest assured that yeah. and I, th I think that I yeah it, they are my uh, unupgraded eyes Basically, maybe I could have level like uh, come on, guys, finish those, and then I will go. Uh, yeah, I will go and just defend the city. Oh, Gandalf died! What a surprise! Okay, I will buy him again, I guess. Here or no? Here, where, it, where can I buy him again? I think I cannot. Basically, if they die, they die for good, but yeah, that's okay. Uh, I will just put my guys up 
here on the wall with my right uh, with my riders also going on the hole uh, on the uh, walls and just defend now I know that those camps did much like play some nice bombs some things but not a big deal I wonder how many ways they are like here it's just a joke dealing with them really it's just a joke of course having like the fire body strikes really helps a lot but yeah now I just have to wait and heal waves after waves after waves of enemy come and yeah. maybe I will be able to like buy them again the heroes but I don't think so like I don't see anything where I can buy also like those ballistas are basically useless the enemy never ever attack attacked from that side so yeah so maybe even going for clearing those camps is not very a very good strategy like yeah now we come with the Muma kills and basically the soldier of rune and yeah some other orcs maybe now they will start taking those camps and uh, yeah but i think that even if they you destroy them they will still reveal them if they really want to so uh, it was just some guys that we lost for nothing but yeah. i wonder how many like really how many uh, Ah no, oh, no no I didn't want to do that. Ah oh, come on. I just lost the archer squad because of that. Because I combined some spots. And now basically like the uh, Aragorn claims with our in the dead and he pretty much clears the battlefield. Which is not uh, what uh, the book says, like the movie really is nice, but uh, yeah, the movie really is nice, in that regard, like they showed like, the army of the dead, but actually what happened is they went with the army to um, uh, Prar, where, where a lot of, uh, uh, of Gondor prisoners were held, and uh, basically in uh, um, Prar they... Uh, they basically kill all the corsairs in Umbrar and then with all the prisoners they came on the ships and the, the battle was very hard fought in the uh, front of minus elite uh, like it was a very hard day of battle and uh, yeah all the moral almost faltered uh, when people saw, saw like the the raiders from Umbrar uh, coming, the more uh, the moral of the enemy almost falter, but from those uh, ships, uh, they didn't get the army of the dead, but from those ships, actually what came on the prisoners from Umbrar, the other prisoners from Umbrar, Umbrar. And yeah, basically they, yeah, they basically won that battle, but it's a very hard battle, right? There were a lot of losses. And basically what happened here there is still hope so yeah it's it was very a very hard hard battle fought there like yeah. also a lot of people like uh, didn't really send the reinforcements to Gondor they didn't answer the call uh, or they answered it very little troops so they kind of didn't understand the importance of the battle that really took place which um, happens I forgot I didn't do a lot of these things but I think I will still get total victory I hope oh actually no that's surprising eh, whatever it's okay
and after that basically I think that uh, till we do like the gates of uh, Mordor army of Mordor stands between the ring and yeah, the fires of till I do that the black gate they are not drawn out Sauron will find the hobbits and reclaim his prize.